Welcome to the On The Day Show training modules. Lorraine, Nina, and Jimmy have been putting all the students through their paces. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I do apologize for not talking to you because I'm having a much more interesting time talking to these lovely people in the studio. I'm only joking. Uh, we're going to get them on air in a second, just telling us a little bit about what they do. Um, because what they're doing is working with Jimmy Franz from Look Look Productions and learning a little bit about the media, and that fits in nicely with Coast Radio. So we've got a couple of people coming in. I'm going to play you another song. Then we're going to get them to have a little chat. Superstars in the making after this song. Welcome to the On The Day Show training modules. Firstly, here is a word from our sponsors. These courses are made possible because of funding from the North of Tyne, combined authority in collaboration with Citizens Advice Northumberland and thriving together. The On The Day Show is a luck, luck production. We are proud to be media partners of Coast Radio, Community Radio, in Southeast Northumberland. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're going to talk a little bit more about Luck Luck Productions and what they're doing. One of the first things we did was go to a um, local church up the road, which none of us had really been to before. Mm -hmm. And we had to walk around the church looking at things, do a little bit of research about the history. There's another lady who does it with it that's called Jenny, and she's been really, really good to work with. We kind of bounce off each other and help each other out. So you meet all sorts of people that you probably wouldn't meet in um, you know, other walks of life. So that's been really interesting. So we've been to the church, and then we went up to see the Combine Graveyard outside of Annick, to the west. It's owned by Mr John Manners, and that was very eerie and very strange, a bit like being in a Doctor Who set. Lots and lots of old combines sort of colour coordinated, the yellow ones, the green ones, the red ones, Matty Ferguson's, John Deere, all these old combines which um, John Manners gets and reclaims parts from mm. and sends them on to different parts of the world. He was telling us about sending them to third world countries now who can't afford to buy these huge expensive com computerized um, combines. So they now get parts of him. And he's been doing it for years. He set up a completely new business from that. He found a gap in the market. So in consequence, outside of Arnick, there's lots and lots of brightly coloured vehicles and you can see them from the air. How do you utilise that with the course that you do? Um, we, we kind of utilise that by sort of being able to we get the information and then we want to be able to put it as like a magazine programme. Yeah. <laughs> so it's generally the course is set for, it's going to be made by over 50s mm -hmm. for the older over 50s uh, in sort of yes. rural, always is in a very, very rural location Excellent. and we yeah. normally wouldn't get much. And sort of extra training is never sort of brought out into the countryside like that. Yeah, so it was something yeah. completely different. It wasn't flower arranging or anything like that. It was it was something completely different. Mm -hmm. We use our local hall in the village, Garmington Memorial Hall. Mm -hmm. And that, again, is like everything else. It doesn't get as used much because yeah. people in yeah. the village all work. Mm -hmm. So there's money brought into the, the village hall. It's getting mm -hmm. used. So we do a lot of... Jimmy has a pop-up studio, yes. which he brings in all, everything in the back of his car, sets it up, lighting, cameras, very professional, and there it is, good to go. And there's a group of us mm -hmm. that we all get together. Yeah, there's, there's the three of us uh, go out together. You know, we'll, we'll talk about a location or um, somewhere to go that may be of interest locally. Um, like Adrian's mentioned, the Combine Graveyard, um, you know, you can see it for miles when you drive over from Anak, and I often wondered what it was, uh, seeing all these brightly coloured vehicles standing in a field, uh, and it turns out to be, a, a it's basically a scrapyard uh, for, for uh, combines, and these are expensive machines, so it's nice to see them being recycled. You know, to third world countries or wherever, people from all over the UK yeah. come to the place, you know, the send parts all over the shop. And, you know, the church was a, a very interesting place to go, obviously steeped in history from about the 11th century, um, you know, and it's got a huge, huge history behind it. So we, you know, Jimmy took me along with all the equipment and showed me how to set it up to, you know, um, have the presenters, Adrian and Ginny walking in, us standing with the camera, filming them coming into the church, going in, then setting it up inside the 
inside the church pointing out things in the church talking a bit about it inside then coming back out so you had the continuity of the of the show uh, you know and then it would be edited by Jimmy to to present a little a little slot um, of of uh, history about this church, you know. So it's a win-win situation, really. You're getting out and about. You're seeing things that you haven't seen before. You're also um, making professional films, and all in all, it's a fantastic experience. Plus, you've got the social aspect as well. Definitely. I think it is absolutely brilliant, and I think it's helping people to stick together. And it just so happens we picked the song. A little bit more chat about what Jimmy does, and he does get some quite uh, famous people coming in, people from all walks of life. So back over to our experts. Who's going to tell us about Rachel Sweeney? Yeah, um, one, one of the things uh, that, that I did was uh, that Jimmy arranged was a, uh, a talk, which was just down here in Ashington, actually, um, just off Hawthorne Road. Um, and it was Rachel Sweeney was the keynote speaker. Uh, she runs her own little company now, uh, Rachel Sweeney Media, worked for uh, Channel 5 and GB News. So she gave a, a, a very informal talk, uh, very relaxed uh, in talk, talk about the insights into working in the media world, uh, which, was, which was really interesting, you know, and we could ask her questions. Um, and uh, just the insight and, you know, working at the, the, like the top of the tree, if you like, of the media world, the big companies. Um, so it was, it was good to, to have this sort of first-hand experience from somebody, yeah. um, you know, at that level and passing all this information on and giving, giving people, you know, giving people like me, uh, ourselves, tips if you wanted to get into that sort of world, you know. You're kind of covering a multi, multi faceted areas here. I mean, you can be in front of the camera, you can be behind the camera, you can do research, which you've all talked about. You could probably eat my, I think I'd be best to just make them the tea. Actually, that, would be, <laughs> well, I think that would be my rule. We but. did think that ourselves when we first got there, we were really quite nervous. and thought, oh, what we're doing, this, is, this isn't really, this is really out of our comfort zone. But you get into it, we've got quite a good group and they're very, you know, it, 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 we're not professionals, so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or your phone rings or or you're a little bit late or you can't get that day. It's very accommodating, really. Um, and it's also, you know, it, 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 we will actually, because we're living in quite, such a quite a rural area, we need some more people. So if anybody wants to come up or get in touch with Jimmy about having a go at doing this, it yep. would be much appreciated. And we could sort of recommend it and it doesn't yeah. take if you if you have sort of yeah. you know the, the target people are like um over 50, over 50 yeah. you know if you if you're retired uh, you've got well, some I time on your hands you're, lo you're looking it. for something mm -hmm. uh to 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 fill a bit of time in you've got a bit of an interest in it you're meeting nice people uh getting out and about you know really learn something a, a new skill that that really takes hold of you and uh, provides Definitely. you with some uh, mental stimulation, you know, gets you, out, gets you out the house does, and, and produces, you know, things in relation to your community that, that, where you are. Killer question, are you having fun? Um, it's yeah. a bit nerve-wracking sometimes. Sometimes you think, oh, but other, other than that, it is, we do have a laugh, yeah. actually. That's the nice no, thing about that's, it. Yeah, it, it, it is relaxed. There's no... You know, uh, no pressure as such. Um, I think obviously being in front of the cameras may be a little bit more nerve wracking because you have to produce some chit chat uh, at the right times. But for me, I'm more likely standing next to Jimmy, watching what the camera does, what he's doing, and organising the the microphones and I things have to like say, that. There are not many people who can walk into a radio station and within half an hour be on air. So Jimmy's course is a confident building. It's helping you get out of your comfort zone. Is a very very good Definitely. point. Definitely made there um, and I would think these two lovely people here would thoroughly recommend it. Definitely recommend it. Can I just mention as well sort of a local um, interest is Woodhorn Museum. They've been setting out um, a sort of a, 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 an activity to keep logs of history around the local village halls which there are many of around the countryside and what they've been doing is interviewing people in the villages about what the hall has been used for you know to um, post-war, can they remember the WIs, the dances, which are quite important, um, and all these sort of memories are going into a big archive, and they're going to be a history which will then come to Woodhorn, where they're keeping all these archives, to just keep those memories alive of what happened in the past, 
Um, we did a couple of interviews with a few people. One of them was my dad because he's the oldest man in the village. He's, he was born and bred in Glanton and in his farm there. And his sister, my auntie, who still lives in the village, and they were asked questions, not by myself, but by somebody who runs the hall, about what had happened in the hall. And because they got together and could remember different aspects and different times, they got quite a good... Uh, bit of archive for the to, to pass down and they thoroughly enjoyed it so that was really interesting and yeah. just keep these memories of life of the brilliant things we've done in the towns and the countryside around the northeast i think that's a, a positive thing right. definitely we'll on the song and we'll come back